Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to start a business in the hardware space. So as with every other business, it's really tough and sometimes you're going to be alone on the journey. So I have this cool product here that I want to start making and start selling, but this is what a lot of people do. They go straight to the point and start looking for the big box. One million naira or one billion bazillion naira. They just go straight to it and start pitching to investors, invest in my idea, this is going to revolutionize whatever and they, make, and they feel like if they go straight to an investor, the investor will give them money. But it doesn't always work like this. Now this is how the journey begins. When you start this cool idea, it's mostly about you. So it's all you. Hmm? That's you right there. Alone. Stranded confused, putting all your money and making your idea better. The first set of people to come on board usually are mommy and daddy. Now at this point, they are coming on board based on emotions. So they are very emotional about it because you are probably their son or their daughter. In my case, it was my mom. My mom was more of a, like a bank. I collected loans from her and I never paid because I never paid back because she's my mom. She won't beat me. My dad played a lot of, um, played more in the advisory space. Though he gave, he gave my mom the money that my mom gave me, but he was, you know, more of the, more of a mentor, asking me if there was prospects in the idea I was developing and everything, keeping, just making me, putting like a reality check on me while I develop my product. So these guys are coming on board based on emotions. Hmm? The next set of people that normally would come on board this journey are relatives and friends. Now at this point, there is um, slightly less emotions than your mom and your dad, but there's still emotions. So basically, friends might buy the product because they feel, it's my friend, Jerry. Relatives might also buy because they feel, it's my cousin. But the emotions here is a lot less than here. Now at this point, you might tend to scale up the business because you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of uh, relatives that you can preach the solutions to, preach your product to and they might buy, as opposed to having just mom and dad. So be, be very particular about this point because it's it kind of like validate, validates your product. The next set of people that normally would come on board are friends of friends. Now when these guys come on board, be very, very careful because these guys are going to buy your product with a lot less emotions. So this is where the business actually begins. So how you treat these guys determines how you, determines your journey to getting your 1 million, billion, bazillion dollars. Now friends of friends are going to buy your product based on need. They will buy it because they need it. So they know a friend that knows a friend and everything. They're not related to you in any way. So take this part very, very important. Mm? So now with the numbers you have grown or gathered from friends of friends, which might be well over 50 or 100, you can now start looking for seed. So people might give you seed funding grants because they have validated your business and they see their business has grown. So they can now give you seed funding, 500,000, 200,000, 100,000 Naira. Now at this point, you should also be very careful because an investor might invest in a business that has already gotten funding before. So all of these funding rounds must be recorded because that gives an investor a sense of um, security that your business will grow. Now, when you have grown and all of these guys are now behind you, so there's your mom, there's relatives, there's friends of friends, there is seed funding. You are now strong enough with all of this, strong enough to start looking for the big boys, which are the investors. If your business starts to, you know, organically grow, you might not need these guys. But I'm guessing that in the hardware space, we need these guys a lot. You can now use all of the numbers you've gathered from these guys to pitch to the investors. So at this point, you might not get your 1 billion bazillion naira that you're looking for, but you are on your way. Because your first investor 
who, who would normally take equity in your business normally has funds or has a network where he or she can pull out funds to get your business to the level that you are going to. So this is you. Your mom comes on board. Relatives and friends come on board. Your friends or friends come on board. You can now get seed funding. Then an investor comes on board. Then all of these guys are going to be behind you. And your products can now grow. Thank you. Thank you.